Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chrisman XMNN, and for today's video, we are going to update your Poco X3 NFC to Android 11, which is the latest version, with MIUI version 12.0.6.0.RJGEUXM. And by the way, guys, this update is 2.3 gig, which is very big update. And what's new about this update is it will have the stable MIUI version based on android 11 updated android security patch to february 2021 and it has an increased system security now let's update this device Alright, so we have just recently updated the phone, so let's unlock it. Alright, so let's check the background. If there are any information about the update. And it seems like the phone has been totally updated to the Android 11. So let's take a look. Oh, there is an indicator here updated MIUI successfully just tap on it and we have just updated the phone to stable MIUI base on Android 11 updated Android security patch to February 2021 and also increase system security and it seems like it's lagging guys um getting lag here so let's double check it again under um about phone and there's kind of delay i think this is as expected guys since we have just recently updated the phone so what we really need to do here is we go to the security application okay so tap on cleaner and tap on clean up 543 mb it also clears the cache partition of the device as well so going back so what we really need to do here is to restart the phone and now we have recently restarted the device now let's navigate the user interface of the phone so let's open the apps drawer it seems it's okay so let's open the notification shade and tap on the settings okay so i'm not seeing any lag so far after we have restarted the device now let's launch the camera okay it seems okay Let's open one social media, which is Facebook. And it seems it's okay as well. YouTube. And it's also okay. And now let's run an Antutu benchmark test to this device. Now let's open the Antutu benchmark application. Okay, and Game Turbo is enabled as well. So please take note of the running score which is 277,482 and now let's test this um, phone again and let's see if there are any um, improvements in terms of Antutu benchmark test or the score. Alright, so we have finished the um, Antutu benchmark test and as you can see guys, based on the previous score, it has decreased to 270,000. It was previously at 277,000 and something. So basically, uh, with the new update, it decreased the performance of the phone and also I also fi found out some lags at the user interface as well when um, when you take or capture pictures it's loading sometimes if you are experiencing this one please leave a comment down below if i'm not alone so right so we are now going to
play a one game and check the temperature but first let's cool down first the phone for us to accurately get the temperature after playing one session of mobile legends all right so we have just cooled down the device now let's check the running temperature so let's check on it so currently the device is at 30.3 degrees celsius or 30 degrees celsius now we will be um, starting with 79% battery as you can see it's 79% so let's play one session of mobile legends so let's check the settings of the game so currently we are at ultra high graphics or ultra graphics and pretty much everything is on high settings so now let's play a rank game Let's check the running temperature of the device and it is 39.4 degrees Celsius and let's check the remaining battery of the phone. So from 79% we are now down to 72%. It is just for one session of a game so more or less it's just 21 minutes of the game. Now here's the camera samples taken on this phone on Android 11. Now we're using the rear facing camera of the phone and it is 1080p 60 frames per second. How is the stabilization guys and how is the sound? Can you hear me? So we have cats here. So I have cats here. So how is the stabilization? There you have it guys, so this is the overall experience of the Android 11 update for your Poco X3 NFC. So if you're gonna ask me my experience on this update, overall you can still use the phone, it's still manageable. However, I am experiencing some lags or more lags on this update, especially when I'm taking some pictures. Uh, the gallery took time to load the pictures that I took from the camera. So hopefully in the future updates, it will be fixed. And if you have this update, please leave a comment down below, guys, if you're experiencing some issues. And let me know your tips and tricks to fix those. So once again, this is Chrisman, XMNN, and see you in the next one. Peace.